You're watching T.S. Madison TV. My God today. <laughs> Y'all put your hands together for the head. Braxton in charge. <laughs> Miss Tamar Braxton! Yeah. I'm so excited to be here. I've been waiting forever to come on this damn show, child. Girl, it took the corona for us to get this bullshit together. Huh? We supposed to bend in this here. All right, so yeah. Taj Renee sponsored our show tonight, and I got I actually have on uh, I actually have on her lipstick right here, Ooh. and I'm loving this lipstick, Taj Renee. It's called Whatever. Yeah. So I chose to I chose to wear this lipstick tonight called Whatever because it's gonna be what motherfucking <laughs> ever tonight. Period, <laughs> bitch. Okay. <laughs> All right, so first up on the court legend, we got the Real Housewives of motherfucking Atlanta, god damn it. Glory God. You say glory be. I said Lord Jesus. Child, we got the Real Housewives of Atlanta, babe, honey. The reunion was messy, child. For me, I just thought bringing that cookie lady into the situation, bringing her to a place to confront somebody that's on your cast to me was foul. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I just thought that there's some that's there should be some things that's like off limits. Like you're not gonna bring no woman on the show to confront me about my man. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like if somebody should have been reprimanded, it should have been the person that brought that girl on that show to to confront that girl about her man like that, because that's not cool. Period. Okay. So what are you sentencing the real housewives to? I'm sentencing the real housewives, the real housewives of Atlanta to a recasting and bringing back Portia. Definitely recasting who you who we getting rid of. <laughs> who you who you firing? Sirs. <laughs> well, I don't have anything personal against Eva. Eva can go. Why she's a bit, because well, it's a bit dull. I mean, she's slightly messy. She's messy, but it's just not. It's not a mess. This, this is not lifted mess. <laughs> I mean, Candy is the richest girl on the show, so I would. I, I do want Candy to stay, even though sometimes her stuff can be a little dull and boring. But I. But we need that area, you know. Um, Kenya is definitely uh, the arch nemesis of of Nene. But I do want them to move the girls on. The girls is in their 50s. I want the girls to move on and do like a senior show. The real house, the real house, the real seniors of Atlanta. And then move some new girls in there. Really? Cynthia can go too. And I like I don't and it's not that I don't dislike these right. things. This is not girls. Right. This is like from a casting standpoint, from what we want to see. Girl. Uh, Fun to me. About okay, well, then they need it needs to be recasted. They gotta go. Okay, they gotta go. Then. Next caller. Next, oh next case. <laughs> All right. Don't nobody want to see that shit. Makes everybody ugly and wrinkly and all. Speaking of, don't nobody want to see that <laughs> shit. Next up, we got Kevin, <laughs> who opened the gate gates. Sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> well, Okay, so uh yeah. Okay. I mean, 
I've done better films than that, goddamn it. <laughs> All right, next up on the court ledger. <laughs> Next mode. What's next is we got Ursha. Because speaking of these battles, we got Ursha. Yeah. Ursha just caught some heat on the internet because um <laughs> on the internet. On the internet, sister. <laughs> because Ursha said that Nicki Minaj is a product of Lil Kim. And I'm gonna play what he say right here. Ursha said, there we go. Hey, but then we'll see Lil Kim versus Nicki. Oh, I see a lot of that. Yeah, but you know that's nah. She, she, she Kim is uh, Nikki is a you, pop up, you already Kim. you already trending on Twitter right now. By the way, let me tell you something. You know the you know the Barb's the Barb's don't play no games with nobody. <laughs> Listen, the Barb's don't play no games with nobody. Nobody. The Barb's don't play that. Nah. Now, here's my take on it. Okay. Y'all know I'm a Nicki Minaj fan. You know, that's my sister. I love my Nicki. And I just feel like it was Lil' Kim. She she reigned in her era. Nicki Minaj reigning in her era. You get what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, when you listen to the rap flows, the flow of the two girls' raps is completely different. Nicki Minaj, where, where Kim dropped the torch... Nicki Minaj picked the torch up and blow the bitch up for everybody else. You understand what I'm saying? Like Nicki Minaj is the reason why all these artists is getting they, they money from YouTube streams and all this stuff. She, the girl came in and she created a whole decade of legacy that they can't they can't fuck with. And you can't fuck with Lil Kim legacy either. It, it can't happen. But I disagree wholeheartedly because that's like saying that, oh, you a product of Bobby Brown. Or you, you know what I'm saying? Or you a product of all the greats that came before you. Like, listen, you cannot discredit somebody's artistry. You know what I'm saying? I don't care because you stand for somebody else more than the other. Now, I love, I love Kim. I love Kim. I appreciate Kim. I appreciate um, Nikki. I love her too. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I put them as two different entities. They are. They that are. I don't give a damn. What come what may. Little Kim did not give Nikki Minaj her talent. So therefore, who are you to take Nikki Minaj's talent away from her? That's like somebody saying, oh, if it wasn't for Tony Braxton, you wouldn't have no throat. Well, th my throat came from the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Praise him! It and came the from the Holy Ghost. Came from the Holy Ghost. It came from the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. So therefore, she not she did not give it to me, Lord. So that means she cannot take it away. Came it came the from the Holy Ghost. Came from the Holy Ghost. It came from the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. So therefore, she not she did not give it to me, Lord. So that means she cannot take it away. As much right. as I love her and respect her, and she paved the way. For all R and B, you know, female artists, you you can't, you gotta, everybody gotta stop this shenanigans, you know, because it's just too much, you know. I, and I do feel like it. She was un, she was unfairly targeted. It, it wasn't right. It just, just, it just wasn't right. It was unnecessarily to say. And I usually agree with Usher because I love Usher, but um, it was unnecessarily because I just felt like he came after her talent and he just shouldn't have done it. All right, so Usher, we send it to you. To two months, no veil tricks. All right. Next day we have a. Mm, what happened? I'm, I'm looking for my. What happened? Okay. Next up. It's been a lot of this versus going. Hey guys, if you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there up there one of them and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that i have for you don't meet me here beat me here
Ciao!